Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've posted a couple of videos previously on this channel regarding Google's privacy sandbox feature called Flock, which is short for Federated Learning of Cohorts. And basically there has been a lot going on regarding Google and Flock over the last couple of months. And there have been some recent developments. So I thought I'd make this quick video just to update you. Now the latest is that Google has now confirmed uh, that they plan to roll out uh, Flock in late 2022 and that's to their Google Chrome browsers and then once that initial rollout takes place uh, they will then phase out support for third-party cookies and that will be the following year in late 2023 and that uh, could be more or less over a three-month period. Now just to update you if you don't know what Flock is in the Google Chrome web browser if you head up to your menu settings privacy and security yeah, you will see a little feature called Privacy Sandbox. And these are trial features at the moment. And if we go into that, part of the Privacy Sandbox is a little feature called Flock. Now, just to summarize quickly, as I say, I have made previous videos, which you can go check out. But basically what uh, Flock is, it says here, when this control is on and the status is active, which, by the way, it is turned on by default. So if you don't want to use this feature, you can just turn it off. Chrome determines which large group of people or cohort your recent browsing activity is most similar to. Advertisers can select ads for the group and your browsing activity is kept private on your device. Your group is updated every seven days. So that's basically what Flock is all about. And at the moment, it's on a trial period and it's only available in some regions. So even if I turn it on in my region of the world, you've got to turn on Privacy Sandbox first. Even if I turn it on, you will see that eligible for trial but not active. So it's not active in my region and I've been placed in no group and there's nothing applicable to me. So if you find yourself in a region where um, you, you, it says you are um, in a group and obviously you are in that trial phase, you can just turn the feature off because there has been a lot of... Um, privacy uh, concerns regarding Flock, as I've mentioned in previous videos. And basically, uh, this rollout to Flock now, if we just head over to the uh, Google's Privacy Sandbox uh, timeline, this rollout now, as I'm talking about, until uh, next year and late 2023, is basically taking place in five stages. And then the first stage is, if we just click on that, the technologies and their prototypes are discussed in forums such as GitHub or W3C groups. And then it goes to testing. All technologies for the use case are available for developers to test and may be refined based on results. And ready for adoption. Once the development process is complete, the successful technologies are ready to be used at scale. They will be launched in Chrome and ready for scale uh, scaled use across the web. Transition period stage one, APRs for each use case are available for adoption. Chrome will monitor adoption and feedback carefully before moving to next stage. And then the final and fifth stage, Chrome will phase out support for third-party cookies over a three-month period, finishing in late 2023, as I mentioned earlier. And I will leave this web page, a link to it down below if you're interested, as there is quite a bit of information here if you are wanting to find out more about Flock and the Privacy Sandbox timeline. Now, as I mentioned, Flock has been met with quite a bit of opposition over the past, as mentioned in previous videos. And this is because a lot of uh, uh, companies are saying and browsers are saying that your, you know, it can be used uh, by your browser to spy on you and basically categorize you and then send you marketing and things that you don't really want or need. And also um, other Chromium-based browsers like Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, Vivaldi, and so on, have all said they are not going to implement Flock in their browsers. So at this stage, it, it looks like Google is the only browser, uh, Google Chrome is the only browser that wants to implement this in that five-stage privacy sandbox timeline as discussed. But as I say, if you do find yourself in a trial period and you are concerned about this, you can just go into those settings as I described and just turn off Flock and you can also just disable Privacy Sandbox if you have any concerns. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.